Good morning and Jai Hind, dear students. So I welcome you all in the second class of business studies. In the last class, we discussed a few terms which were related with business studies. The examples were business, commerce, trade, profession, employment, and many more things, which were the basic terms which you must be aware before starting your uh, syllabus further. So from today, we will start uh, looking. more uh, with a more deeper perspective in one by one into different topics according to our syllabus so today first of all we will discuss that what does business means what is business obviously our subject is business studies so the most important word or the most important term which at first we should grab is the word business so as you can see on your screen the definition or next one a tree definition which has been given it can be defined as an activity carried out for earning profit here earning profit is the important word which you should focus on by satisfying human needs one more important term satisfying human needs and it involves production and sale activities so in this whole definition the three points on which you have to focus are earning profit this thing just make a note of this if you are having a pen or paper or if you are not having just bring it and make a note earning profit then satisfying human needs and involvement of production and sale activities what are these things see if you are doing any activity just say that uh, you are uh, unnecessarily you are digging soil out of somewhere just uh, in the your courtyard or from anywhere in a agricultural field or somewhere and you nobody has asked you to do that or you are not going to sell it somewhere the mud which you will take out after digging so because there is no earning in doing that work you are just doing it irrelevantly so that cannot be said that yes you are doing a business obviously business means being busy in an activity but that should also involve this thing that is earning profit now the same thing the same activity that is digging up soil from anywhere that you are doing with a motive that yes i'll take this 10 kg of soil and i will go somewhere and i'll sell it to that person you know some person that yes he or she may be interested in buying this so here what is involved obviously when you sell it you will earn some money and that will be your profit because you have not invested anything you have just invested your physical labor that that is the difference between an activity which is done without an earning profit motive and an activity which is done with motive of a earning profit then by satisfying human needs the second thing by satisfying human needs what does this implies see in the same example which i gave you unless and until you will be aware that somebody in my uh, colony or nearby to my house needs that mud needs that that soil actually isn't it jab tak aapko pata nahi hoga ki kisi ko uski zarurat hai how you will go and sell it so first of all you will have to be aware that somebody needs it means somebody is in dire need or somebody is requiring that thing then only you will be able to give it to that person whether it is him or her isn't it and by giving that thing what you are doing you are satisfying the need isn't it there there is a need that is that person needs that soil to do whatever to whatever he or she want why you the reason we are not going into it there is a need and you are satisfying that need isn't it because dekhiye business mein zabardasti aap nahi kar sakte aisa nahi ki aapne mitti khon di aur pahunch gaye wahan pe ki nahi nahi to leni hai mitti maine khodi hai to koi na koi isko lega hi lega isn't it so satisfying human need first of all you are to know that there is need of this thing and then by giving that thing to Uh, that concerned person you are satisfying the need and it involves production and sale activities see what is production here in this example production is that process where you dig up the mud and sale means you went at his or her home and sold the mud now you can understand this with a another example also it might have not been so much clear to you just uh, think about uh, a business which have started by uh, manufacturing chocolates fine so obviously nobody will manufacture chocolates just ki bana ke aur usko hum le ja ke colony mein baat denge ladkon ke beech mein aisa koi nahi karta nobody does this obviously aap sunte honge you must have heard that uh, that company donated that much pieces of chocolates biscuits and 
recently you heard that uh, ma this uh, parleji has donated crores of packs of biscuits isn't it but aisa nahi hai ki wo sirf donate hi kar rahe hain their main motive is to earn profit isn't it so we are talking about the chocolate business obviously we'll have the motive of motive of earning profit isn't it so this is fulfilled here now understanding satisfying human needs obviously when you started the chocolate uh, manufacturing the business of making chocolates you want to have your target customers target customers aapke mind mein rahe honge aa hi jate hain ki ha bacche hain unki need hoti hai teenagers hain unki need hoti hai koi bhi person obviously jisko jab need hogi jab usko craving hogi khane ki chocolate ki usi ko aap satisfy karenge you will satisfy that very need by selling that chocolate to that concerned person and obviously again you are involved in the production of chocolate at the factory and making it available to the customer so that it could be sold to the customer isn't it so now i think students that you are not if not well aware at least little bit aware that what is business so now we will see that how do we uh, differentiate any activity that whether it is a business or not कैसे हम पता करते हैं कि बिजनेस है कि नहीं या वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट इन अदर वर्ड दैट हाउ कैन बी कैरेक्टर कैरेक्टर राइज एन एक्टिविटी इनटू अ बिजनेस वेदर इट इज अ बिजनेस और नॉट सो हियर आर सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स व्हिच आर एसेंशियल फीचर्स ऑफ बिजनेस वेदर एन एक्टिविटी इज अ बिजनेस और नॉट वी कैन इजीली चेक ऑन बेस्ड ऑन दीस एक्टिविटीज एंड वी कैन से दैट इट इज अ बिजनेस और नॉट सो फर्स्ट इज इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी ऑब्वियसली मनी मस्ट बी इन्वॉल्व इन दैट द मोटिव मस्ट बी प्रॉफिट अर्निंग अगर प्रॉफिट अर्निंग का मोटिव नहीं है इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी नहीं है वो देन दैट विल नॉट बी कॉल्ड एज अ बिजनेस गोइंग टू योर अंकल्स हाउस एंड गिविंग हिम अड मसाज दैट इज नॉट एन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी सो दैट इज नॉट अ बिजनेस बट इफ यू आर हैव ओनिंग अ मसाज पार्लर एंड यू आर गोइंग टू समबडीज हाउस एंड गिविंग हिम अ नाइस मसाज एंड यू आर टेकिंग मनी इन लू ऑफ दैट इन रिटर्न ऑफ दैट मसाज देन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ business production or procurement unless and until you are producing something production means hota hai koi cheez banana or if you are not procuring something procurement matlab hota hai ki kahin se kisi cheez ko le lena usko apne paas la ke rakhna procure karna procure karna matlab hota hai lena production matlab hota hai usko produce karna ya usko banana ye dono cheeze bhi honi chahiye both these things must be there that is production or procurement of goods Now, in case of services, it will not be there because services को आप produce करते हैं खुद ही से कर लेते हैं वहीं पे produce नहीं करते हैं service दी जाती है actually ठीक है और service की procurement भी नहीं होती because service is a skill which you already have with you. Then comes sale or exchange of goods and services. Whatever good you are producing or procuring or whatever service which you are having to offer to somebody, you will have to sell it or exchange it with some person. we will be your customer isn't it then only it will be called as business then there is regularity regularity is a very important aspect of business students dekhiye kya hai aap jo hai koi bhi kaam for example shuru kar lijiye chocolate factory jo aapne lagayi usko le lijiye aapne you work hard hard for 15 days with your employees and all and you produced lots of chocolates and you just uh, distributed it in the market और अचानक आपने अपनी फैक्ट्री बंद कर दी वन डे यू सेट दैट ओके नाउ आई विल टेक अ लीव की रेगुलरिटी बंद हो गई तो अगले आपकी फैक्ट्री में से निकल के मार्केट में जा नहीं रही है जो भी गई थी द कस्टमर्स हु बॉट दैट लोगों ने खरीदा होगा खाया होगा किसी को अच्छा लगा किसी को बुरा लगा अभी उन चीजों में नहीं जा रहे हैं ठीक है जिनको अच्छा लगा सिर्फ उनकी बात कर रहे हैं जिन्होंने किसी के मुंह से सुना कि हाँ एक इस इस नाम से चॉकलेट आई बड़ी अच्छी लग रही अब वो जिनको अच्छा लगा या जिन्होंने किसी के मुंह से सुना ऑब्वियसली दे विल गो टू मार्केट एंड दे विल लुक फॉर योर Uh, chocolate but they will not find it why because you have not been regular in your work you have stopped production aur kya hoga fir log laega are to lag raha hai ani chocolate band ho gayi hai ab kya hoga 15 din baad aap usko jab start bhi karoge na you will when you will again start it then nobody is going to ask the shopkeeper that that chocolate is available or not because inke dimag mein aa chuka hai ki are wo to bana band ho gaya hai usko kaise dur karte hain har ek regular interval pe aapko wahan pe सप्लाई पूरी करती रहनी पड़ेगी ठीक है तो रेगुलरिटी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ बिजनेस अनलेस एंड अंटिल यू आर रेगुलर इन योर प्रोडक्शन और प्रोक्योरमेंट और प्रोवाइडिंग सर्विसेज आपका बिजनेस बिजनेस नहीं कहा जाएगा ऐसा नहीं कि आप एक दिन उठे काम किया फिर दो महीने बाद जा रहे हैं वो काम करें तो बिजनेस नहीं होता वो तो ऐसा होता है कि ठीक है इट्स ओके जब मुझे पैसे की जरूरत पड़ती है वेन एवर आई मीन नीड ऑफ मनी आई एम जस्ट गोइंग एंड स्टार्टिंग डूइंग दिस वर्क 